So we've just got some new hens from a commercial farm and John just examining them for red mite. Generally that's the worst thing that, that the ones from these commercial farms, they can't afford to get red mite and things. So this is the newly rescued hen. You can see how pale her comb is. And she's gonna be in shock now compared to that one there. But they all look, look like that when we get them. Some look worse than that when we get them. And having checked them, don't forget these hens have been in uh, what they call enriched cages, which isn't very different to the original battery. See how pale their feet are. They're very unfit. They haven't really walked before. Uh, they can turn around in their cages, but see how long their nails are as well. See how long its, its claws are compared to a hen like this that's been scratching around our hens scratching around in the dirt so this is completely bewildering for them obviously but this is how it is this is what we have to do another one there so John just checks under the wings really because any red might tend to live in the warm areas of the body mostly they don't live on the chickens though you just but chickens in these uh, poultry farms, they're very unfit, but they're also sort of vaccinated and wormed and up to the hilt because they can't afford infection because they're all so close together. So in a way, they're quite healthy. There she is. Look at their lovely wing feathers. And here they go. Completely bewildered. There's Goldie, look. Hello, Goldie. So we lost quite a lot of hens over winter. We do over winter. Not to a fox this year, thankfully, but um, we, they, you know, as I said before, they often don't, they're not bred for longevity at all. They're bred. They're a hybrid bred for maximum production. So, uh, everybody's getting quite excited because we've got new friends. They don't really know what to do, of course. The farm we went to, we've had a hens from there before. It's a very standard place. The smell is unbelievable. They've got a few that roam outdoors, but a very small amount, free-ranging. Very few. They've got tens of thousands. I'm not going to mention names. So we got 15 today. And you can see the difference. The bright red combs of the hens have been with us longer and the very pale very very pale anyway that's probably long enough this is their area down here where they free range all the time that's a big pond old clay pit at the bottom of the garden there so and they have this large area that we do also let them out beyond the fence oh look at that she's perching on his Get a little feet just perching on his hands. He's a very good hen daddy. So, another couple out of that box, and then a couple more in that box. Happy day! Happy, happy day. We've plenished our little flock, and uh, oh, how Huey's happy too! More girls for you, Huey. And these girls have a chance now at a much, much better life. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs>